Today morning, the Forum for Democratic Change President Patrick Oboi Amuriat, Secretary General Nandala Mafabi, and other party members converged at FDC headquarters in Najanankumbi, where they addressed the journalists. Party President Amuriat began by pointing out the genesis of the current tensions in the party. Today, the FDC finds herself having two competing centers of power, one residing at number six Katonga Road and the other at Najanankumbi. Both these centers of power are fighting for the same political space. We are going to be trying to work within a very short time to narrow the gap between the two in order for us to work in harmony. On Monday, party spokesperson Ibrahim Semujunganda held a consultative meeting in Nsambia during which he leveled several accusations against Amuriat in Mafabi. According to Amuriat, this was uncalled for. It is total cowardice for anybody, whatever his or her size, to go out of an area where we can participate in active debate. And it goes a few kilometers from here as if this is not recognized as our home. Amuriat further responded to allegations that his group was preparing to deliver FDC to the ruling NRM party. And Semuju has described this as being put in a truck, you know, and, and taken away to Mr. Museveni. Something that, to say the least, is an impossibility. Not only because of our strength as political leaders, but also because of the manner in which the FDC is institutionalized, but also grounded in this country. The one-time presidential candidate father warned that those who have deviated from the party will be punished. This act of hostility to the party, including campaigning against our official flag bearers, is a hostility to the party for which it's never too late to proceed under our constitution. FDC Secretary General Nandala Mafabi dismissed Semuju Nganda's allegations that the party got funding from NRM. This is just pedestrian, just thinking from this faction. If this is a political party with structures and stakeholders, it's not a personal property that we just hand over to anyone. I want to tell our constitution, Article 13, it says any member who goes to another party ceases to be a member of what? Of the FDC. Sebu Guao went, she was a deputy president, she ceased to be a member. Which structure did she go with? Even her family structures, I'm sure she never went with it. So I cannot, or I'm ringing you, that carry a structure on a pickup, on a roller to take to Museve. And unless for them, they have a formula how they want to carry it on a pickup. It had also been earlier alleged that Nandala Mafabi was plotting to be appointed Bank of Uganda governor. My qualification, my experience and expert are very sufficient to have that, those positions. Who doubts me? <laughs> However, no one has ever approached me with that offer. And I'm not interested in working with Museveni. How do you intend to resolve this issue? It normally takes two to tango. And when uh, you have got to have a relationship, a political relationship, or any other relationship, it takes each of the participants in that relationship to agree on the principle. The FDC party president, Patrick Amuriat, says that the conflicts within the FDC party started in 2020, that is even before the general elections, and there have been internal mechanisms to resolve these disputes. But the fact that all this has played out means this kind of mechanism has completely failed. He however says they extend an olive branch to the faction that seems not to agree with them in the mainstream party. But now what remains to be seen is whether the olive branch in words is going to be actualized at a time when experts are saying 
that the FTC party that was once the strongest political party in the opposition is in doldrums. Sudil Yaranga, NTV.